Jump, big trip, life fit from a big whip. Fendi on my collar, I'm a real rich prick. Yo, what is up, guys? Caleb or Caleb Visuals here, bringing our video today. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, the drip effect, is what I call it. People call it all sorts of different things. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with this picture here. Recently put uh, a picture of the drip effect on my Instagram here recently and it's been getting good feedback and all that stuff so I want to go ahead and show y'all how to do it. It's very straightforward, don't need any plugins, anything special, just need Photoshop. So first what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into our photo 100%. I am going to grab, I'm going to change the, the color right here. Okay, so. We're gonna pick a color. I'm going to do uh, like a purple and white, how I did on my Instagram photo. So we'll say purple there, and then white here. And then we're gonna select our brush. Make it a little smaller, like we'll say about, uh, about six. And then we have to start filling in the eyes. Kind of just, it's random. Just mix it all together. And I will switch to white and mix the white in. Kind of, usually I try to cover like the whole eye, most of the eye. that should be good we'll add just a little more white over here okay same thing for this eye over here all right so bam so now this is where the tool liquify comes in it's actually what it's called liquify so we're going to go into filter and then you can see right here it's liquify or shift control X I'm going to click on it I'm going to bring up another screen and this is what the screen looks like so now we're going to zoom in do a hundred maybe two hundred sure we'll do two hundred so now let me I don't know why it won't fit on my monitor, but there. Okay, so now we're going to have this tool selected, which now y'all can't see it. So I am going to move my shelf down here. Alright, so we have this top tool selected now. I uh, want to make sure we want to make this start off the size pretty small. So we'll say six. Pressure is on 100, density is on 100, and rate is on 0. And we're going to start slowly just dragging it down. Now you want to make it obviously look like a type of liquid. So we're going to keep doing this. And then we may start to have it kind of come over here on this side. side I do not do not know why it is glitching like that but it, it's fine all right keep dragging it down keep dragging it all right I'm gonna probably speed this up now done I'm kind of rushing through this but you want to make sure you take your time and make it look as uh, as real as possible like you know liquid how liquid would be when dripping down and stuff um, now you see what we have black kind of in it it's with her mixing in with her um, her eyelashes and stuff and I actually don't mind that I actually kind of like that so I'm gonna probably go back and add a little bit of black to her uh, her lip so we can mix it in with that just by 
make it six and bam, bam, bam. All right, that should be fine. And go back to liquefy. Zoom back into 200 and start messing. Okay, so now we are done with her mouth. We're going to press OK. But as you can tell, it kind of dragged like her skin down as well. So we need to fix that. So we're going to copy, get another thing of the photo, like so. And we're going to drag this photo over here. Make sure it lines up, like so. So the background is the normal photo, and layer one is our drip photo which I am not sure why that white line is up there or why her hair moves when I do that. Usually it shouldn't do that, but something, a little something, a little something went wrong, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna grab the eraser. We're gonna zoom in again to 100. We'll probably, we'll do a little more. Let's see what 200 looks like, okay. Grab our eraser, make it a little smaller, and just start erasing this, making it look normal. All right, now that it is erased, we are good so now it looks a lot more clean her skin's not pulled down her skin looks normal and that is it guys um if yours glitches out like that which i'm not sure why mine did just simply just just do a crop that's what i would do um we're gonna go here go to crop tool bring it a little down and then bam it's gone so yeah guys that is a video i call it the drip effect drip drip effect people call it different things um i kind of just saw um other people do it i want to learn how to do it and i figured it out i've used liquify before and one of my other photoshop photos that i've done it was a couple months ago and so um it's really cool to see that you can use it like this i see people do like little overlays of animations over the eyes and mouth and I do like that but I think this looks way more uh, like more real and um, more organic I guess so that is it guys obviously you can take more of your time you can um, make it look better you can make it look more liquidy you can make different more designs make it random make it come make her ha make the hair liquidy you know so the sky is the limit you can do so many different things with this i hope you guys enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe